Yeah, you're just next door on this side over here. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> okay, we're one minute out. So is it going to just start by itself? Yes. Yeah. One more door. <laughs> Up the stairs there. Hello and welcome to the 2017 University of Lethbridge Open House. We're very glad that you could join us. Um, today I'm going to be giving you just a brief overview of the fine arts graduate programs offered here at the University of Lethbridge. Um, before we get started though, I just want to talk about what those degree programs actually are. We've got our graduate programs include Master of Fine Arts degrees um, with majors in Art, Theatre and Dramatic Arts, new media, and we also have a Master of Music graduate program as well. Um, my name is Derek Olson. I'm the Associate Dean in the Faculty of Fine Arts. Um, my home department is the Department of New Media, um, and I'm going to be talking uh, about the programs today. I'm also the um, Program Chair uh, of the Graduate Programs Committee. Uh, so let's talk about uh, the Master of Fine Arts degree or the MFA degree. Um, it's a thesis-based studio program with a minimum uh, program length of two years. So there's a two-year residency requirement. Um, students are required to complete um, a project or a production um, as well as a thesis support paper uh, in support of their project. Um, the minimum requirements to be met um, for uh, application uh, is a University of Lethbridge uh, baccalaureate degree um, or its equivalent uh, from another recognized degree granting institution um, in a discipline of interest or, or one that's a closely cognate uh, discipline. The University of Lethbridge res reserves the right uh, to determine whether the degrees uh, and other academic programs uh, completed elsewhere are equivalent to the University of Lethbridge uh, baccalaureate degrees. Um, a minimum grade point average uh, of 3.0 uh, based on a four point scale. Um, on the last 20 graded university level semester courses uh, is needed. Um, the minimum criteria used during the review of the application for admission um, does include um, the applicant's record, um, letters of academic uh, recommendation, um, the applicant's body of creative work, exhibition, performance reviews, um, and a publishing record as well. Um, there's also an audition um, for the Master of Music and in some cases the uh, Master of Fine Arts program in uh, Theatre and Dramatic Arts. Um, also the possibility of an interview uh, may be requested um, by the Admissions Committee. Um, and the feasibility of the project uh, in light of available resources, um, both physical resources and uh, faculty and staff that might be able to uh, be in the area that you, uh, that you wish to study. Um, I'm just going to move on here, but, um, but yeah, again, basically there are, uh, there are three majors in the MFA program, Art, New Media, and Theatre and Dramatic Arts. Um, so each MFA program, each major in the MFA program, that combines research theory and practice that's relevant um, to the discipline. Um, it allows students to concentrate. Uh, on their chosen disciplines and to synthesize it um, into, unique, into a unique and a challenging thesis. Um, the University of Lethbridge also provides exceptional facilities, technical support and a lively community of arts and culture um, and a commitment, um, <coughs> excuse me, uh, and a commitment to academic and creative excellence. Um, any questions so far about that? All right, we'll move along then. So let's talk specifically about the MFA um, in art, okay? Um, 
The MFA in Art offers students the opportunity to join a dynamic community of contemporary visual artists, historians, and scholars. Um, the MFA in Art is a, is a smaller program uh, with higher caliber students. Uh, this program encompasses uh, material, critical, and conceptual investigations in contemporary art through an exceptional level of interaction with faculty, staff, and visiting artists. Um, at the University of Lethbridge, there's an extensive visiting artist and a visiting speaker series um, in the art program. Uh, it enriches the MFA experience. Uh, it creates weekly opportunities for discussion with a spectrum of practicing artists, architects, curators, critics, and historians. Um, Lethbridge is home to numerous artist collectives. Uh, there's the art, uh, Allied Arts Council here in Lethbridge. There's the Trapdoor Artist Run Center, several contemporary art galleries, including our own art gallery here. Right. Moving on. Are we back in here now? Here we go. All completed applications and accompanying documentation must be submitted uh, via our online application system. Um, so up here we've got a list of some of the application requirements. Um, when you apply, you'll need unofficial academic transcripts. Um, if you were offered admission to the program, you'd need to submit your official transcripts uh, to the registrar's office. Uh, you also need to include your CV, your curriculum vitae, um, and that should include your educational background, academic achievements, your work experience, uh, as well as other experience that might be relevant to your discipline um, or your area of study in the art program. Um, also included in the application is a need to have a letter of intent. Um, there's a 1500 word um, maximum uh, sort of letter of intent, kind of an essay um, that outlines your area of research interest. So it's not a thesis proposal at this stage. Um, it's just a letter of, uh, of intent, the things that you intend to study here um, in the art program. Um, you also will propose, and not in an official sort of thesis proposal um, perspective, but a, a, suppo a proposed project of study, something that you uh, intend to pursue here at the University of Lethbridge. Um, you'll also need three references. So you'll contact three referees who are willing to submit a confidential assessment um, and can speak to your background, your background preparation rather, um, and a student. Uh, T-O-E-F-L. Um, also the uh, IELTS scores, those taken within the last two years, there's a minimum overall score of a 6.5 um, with a minimum of 5.5 um, in each, uh, each band. Um, also for the MFA in the art program, there is um, a portfolio requirement. Okay, 
the portfolio is a vital piece of your application. Uh, you should include, include representative samples of your current work uh, in both still uh, and or video formats as appropriate for your about that at this point? Pretty clear? Good. Um, so moving on to the uh, MFA in Theatre and Dramatic Arts program. Um, this degree is also a two-year full-time studio degree uh, of applied and academic study. Um, this, uh, this program is housed in the Department of Drama um, and the Department of Drama produces a robust season of main stage productions uh, we have a studio, a student-run season of studio productions as well, um, as as well as a, a large number of theater events um, within the institution and within the city itself. Um, the department's activities are, are supported by um, outstanding theater facilities. We have shops and studios. Um, <coughs> the expertise of faculty members within the department includes uh, design, performance, technical production, uh, theater history. Um, directing, playwriting, um, movement, speech, voice, uh, a number of great areas within, uh, within uh, the Department of Drama that can all be a part of your uh, experiences in that program. Uh, the university's liberal arts focus oper offers opportunities to take courses and explore collaborations with um, the humanities, the sciences, and social sciences, um, and really uh, every area within uh, the institution and could uh, expand into uh, health sciences and, and management as well. Um, uh, the areas of study that are primary, uh, primarily the focus of the MFA in the Theatre and Dramatic Arts program um, are design, performance, uh, technical production, um, and playwriting. So many of these application requirements are uh, similar. Uh, across the majors in the MFA, so uh, I don't want to belabor the point too hard in, uh, in, in these individual requirements, but I will highlight some of the, the differences as we go. Uh, but in order to apply uh, to the program in Theatre and Dramatic Arts, you're going to need to complete, again, the online application, um, and those application requirements are, uh, are similar to the art program. Uh, you'd need your unofficial transcripts, uh, your CV, letter of intent, again, that 1500 word um, maximum uh, outlining your research interests and your proposed area of study. Um, three references, um, your English language proficiency requirement, um, and your portfolio. And in the portfolio in the Theatre and Dramatic Arts program, um, that can include samples of your current work if it's from you know, a design or a technical production standpoint. Um, but again, the video format might be more appropriate if you are um, wanting to show uh, something that's more, uh, provides more context to the work you know, something uh, uh, of a, um, a video of a staged reading or a, uh, an actual performance, etc. cetera, right? Um, in addition to our application requirements, um, students are um, sometimes invited to have an interview uh, or an audition with, uh, with uh, the admissions committee. Um, and sometimes we'll need to make alternative ar arrangements for candidates that are applying um, from uh, a far distance uh, to come to the institution. So some specifics to think about um, regarding the portfolio for the Theatre and Dramatic Arts program application. Um, the portfolio, uh, again, is submitted online. It should include those 20 images or 10 images and a, and a uh, five minute maximum video compilation. Um, with those, uh, the contents of the portfolio, you're also going to need to um, include a list, uh, some sort of contextual caption for each one of the images, um, et cetera, uh, with a date, title, um, some uh, media or venue, right, um, that's included with uh, the pieces that are in your, uh, in your portfolio. Um, anything that's really pertinent to be able to clarify the work, um, that's going to be really helpful to the admissions committee. Um, 
just a note about the image files that you uh, upload into the into the system. It'd be a great idea for these things to be in an RGB color space um, or a grayscale, like a black and white uh, space. But a maximum resolution of uh, uh, 1,200 pixels by 1,200 pixels um, and to have it in a standard JPEG file format is going to be really helpful. If you're using video f uh, files to include in your portfolio, um, keeping them in a, a QuickTime Movie uh, .mov uh, file wrapper uh, or an MPEG uh, format would be really helpful as long as it's viewable within the QuickTime player um, or VLC or real player. Um, that's going to be a great help to the admissions committee. Um, again, a couple of things to consider about applying to the uh, MFA in Theatre and Dramatic Arts program. Um, On the right slide here, sure I am. Okay, <laughs> um, but when you're completing your application uh, for an MFA in Theater and Dramatic Arts, uh, it's important that if you're a design student, um, you're going to be asked to submit por portfolio images that are not exceeding uh, the 20 images. Um, we don't uh, we don't need to see a comprehensive and a, and a, a really broad um, sampling of your work. Um, 20 images maximum is really what we're uh, is what we're looking for, and if we do um, need more information about that, we'll be contacting you. We'll make some alternative arrangements to have an interview or some other kind of um, contact with the applicants. Um, you'll notice there that the application deadline is on a lot of these slides. That the application deadline is on February uh, February the first. Um, so moving on to the MFA uh, New Media Program. Um, this is also a two-year full-time studio program in applied um, and academic study. Um, building on the reputation for excellence in undergraduate education in, in, uh, in new media, and in particular areas of 3D art and animation, um, cinema, the moving image, um, interactive arts, digital design, and of course new media theory, uh, history, culture, um, the Master of Fine Arts in New Media, it offers students an opportunity to join, um, again, that community of dynamic artists, designers, scholars. Um, students are honing their creative talents um, using first-rate design and animation software, um, everything from motion capture technology, um, digital video production equipment, um, design, lots of different types of resources that are available to you within the new media program. Um, the program offers an exceptional level of interaction with faculty and staff. Um, the community is uh, quite um, integrated, very tight-knit. Um, you get a lot, of, uh, a lot of contact with everyone, not just your supervisor um, and your supervisory committee. Um, the new media department is supported with excellent studios, labs, specialized workshops, digital facilities. Um, we have a teaching and, research teaching and research computer labs that are equipped with dedicated workstations for computer graphics, um, visual content development. Um, there's an, a visual effects cove studio, um, which is um, a green screen studio and allows for um, a various types of production, um, visual effects compositing, etc. cetera. Um, we have digital uh, photo studio facilities, um, and of course, digital video and photo uh, cameras dedicated mobile and studio lighting equipment kits, and professional sound recording and editing equipment. Um, faculty research labs are also a part of uh, our, our facilities um, that have cutting edge uh, stereoscopic visualization technology, um, motion capture studio that we have. Um, we have dedicated animation workstations that integrate into new media computer labs. Um, and uh, I think I've mentioned this before here now, but HD video and, and digital camera, lighting equipment, sound equipment, etc. Um, there's really a, a great deal of things that you can study within that MFA uh, and new media program. Okay, so some of the application requirements. Um, just like the MFA in art and the MFA in theater and dramatic arts, the MFA in new media program. Um, has the same um, application process, uh, completed applications and all the accompanying documentation is submitted again by that online application system. Um, and again, you need the unofficial transcripts, your CV, a letter of intent of 1,500 words, uh, three references, the English language proficiency, 
um, and the portfolio. Um, and again, like the other two, ma two majors in the MFA program, there's also um, uh, an interview may be required. All right? So your portfolio should include representative samples of your current work, uh, which could draw on any combination of things, um, including design for digital media, uh, interactive media, web, video games, 3D art and animation, um, cinema, new media theory and culture. If you have writing samples, those are all uh, things that you might include um, in, your, uh, in your portfolio. Uh, and again, that deadline uh, for application is February the 1st. Um, so that's, that really rounds out the the majors within the MFA programs within the Faculty of Fine Arts. Is any any questions or any um, nothing? Okay, great. That's good. I'm glad things are clear. So moving on, then we're going to talk a little bit about the Master of Music um, degree. Uh, the Master of Music degree is also a two-year full-time program uh, of applied and academic study. Uh, the program allows students the opportunity to pursue graduate study uh, in performance and composition. Um, and again, that community within the Faculty of Fine Arts of experienced um, scholars, active professional musicians, um, really can't be understated. Um, the, the, the experience that students in, uh, enrolled in the Master of Music, the experiences that they get within the Department of Music is um, it is really, really valuable. Um, although the program is grounded in a classical music, um, sort of oeuvre, uh, the students are encouraged to study broadly and to synthesize their work into other personalized artistic expression. Okay, so um, again, the, a lot of the curriculum is still really um, centered or, f or, or focused on the classical, uh, on classical music, but um, there's certainly opportunities to, uh, to explore other areas as well. Okay, so the Master of Music program um, has a couple of different types of um, offerings here. So in addition to the required coursework, and there is, uh, there is you know, substantial uh, coursework that's required in the, MS, er, uh, the M MUSE degree, um, the MUSE involves master classes and lectures with visiting artists, musicians, um, and numerous performance and recording and research opportunities on campus uh, in the larger community as well, and all these experiences are culminating in, uh, in a thesis project. Uh, the Master of Music program provides an advanced studio and um, instruction uh, in performance and composition in a wide range of areas. Um, the music department is supported by numerous practice facilities, um, we have new, a newly renovated recital hall with two Steinway D concert grand pianos uh, and a Yamaha S6 handmade grand. And we also have Studio One, uh, which is a world-class digital recording studio. Um, there's also a 32 station music technology lab and an audio research lab that are a part of the music department as well. Um, but you can see here that there is a number of areas of studio instruction um, within the Master of Music program, collaborative piano, conducting, uh, composition. Um, I think we have French horn up there, and I'm not quite sure whether we're still offering studio instruction in French horn, uh, but piano, voice, uh, and violin. So some of the application requirements. The, the Master of Music program has some, uh, has some more, uh, again, some specific uh, application requirements that are in addition to the same ones we've been talking about with the Master of Fine Arts programs. Um, but as well, you'll have your uh, unofficial transcripts to apply, um, your CV, which again um, includes your academic background, your work experience, awards, scholarships, uh, again, as well as any uh, information that's relevant to your program. Your letter of intent, that 1500 word um, letter that outlines the direction of your current area of research and practice um, and might indicate the specific nature uh, of your interest in the Master of Music program. Uh, your three references, uh, the English language proficiency requirement, 
um, and your portfolio, uh, your audition, uh, including material relevant to your um, area of study. Um, applicants that are focused on performance uh, in particular should submit a video that displays a professional level of repertoire. Um, applicants that are focused on composition should submit scores um, and or sound files of, the, uh, of their compositions. Is there any questions about those um, application requirements? Great. So let's talk just for a minute about the audition. Uh, once all application documents have been reviewed, um, applicants will be shortlisted uh, for admission and will be invited um, for a live audition of approximately 30 minutes. Um, that will give the applicants an opportunity to display uh, a professional level of repertoire. Um, a short interview will also occur in uh, following the audition. Um, and then a placement test will also be given to assess the applicant's proficiency in music theory, uh, musicianship skills, and music history. So again, these are some things that are uh, particularly different to the Master of Music program um, than some of the application requirements for the Master of Fine Arts degrees. Any questions about the audition? Again, that's a little bit different. Okay. Um, so the next slide that I brought up here is um, the slide dealing with admission awards. So um, there are a number of awards that are, that are tied specifically to students being admitted into, uh, into these graduate programs. Um, these are no, this is not an exhaustive list of funding opportunities at the University of Lethbridge. There are additional um, funding opportunities that are available to students once they're admitted um, that again are based on merit, they are based on other kinds of um, uh, grants and uh, just scholarship programs within, uh, within the institution. Um, but at application time, um, there are a number of admission awards and um, so regarding these scholarships and different kinds of funding opportunities, um, our model for the School of Graduate Studies um, financial support is merit-based award is a, a merit-based award structure. Okay, so um, there are some awards that have absolutely no application um, at all that are just assessed at the time you apply for admission. So all the materials that you submit um, are adjudicated and sort of uh, categorized, and then if they're awarded, um, they'll actually be articulated in your offer letter. When you're offered admission, it'll say um, you've you've received this award or this uh, this award. Okay. Um, some, an example of some of these awards might be the Dean's Scholarship or an, a tuition award. Um, there might also be um, graduate, assu graduate assistantships, etc. Um, that might be specific to um, uh, the department with, and program that you're applying to. Um, beyond that, um, I would really encourage you to uh, look at some of the other funding opportunities that are available through um, uh, the provincial and federal government here in Canada. There might be scholarship opportunities um, if from your home country if you're applying from, uh, from an international location. Um, there's also a website, um, our, a, student of, a School of Graduate Studies funding website um, that also has a list of funding opportunities that are available to applicants. Any questions about admissions, awards, etc. Um, one, one particular set of awards that I wanted to highlight as well within uh, the Faculty of Fine Arts, um, there is a student scholarship fund called the Abendanza uh, Award, which is a, it's an endowment that's, um, that's up over a million dollars now that we pull scholarships out of. Um, and there are Abendanza Awards um, uh, in each one of these programs that are awarded every year um, as well. Um, to students um, that are continuing on in the program. So that's another thing that I'd like to highlight. Um, you can see that the number of some of these scholarships is not, uh, not insignificant, right? The Dean's, uh, Dean's Scholarship Award of $10,000 uh, $10, and, then, and then there's tuition awards, um, international and domestic at $13,000 and $6,000 or $6,000 and $2,000, okay? I think that brings me to the end of uh, the information that I wanted to share with you about the uh, Master of Fine Arts degree programs um, in art, um, in theater and dramatic arts, in new media, uh, and the Master of Music program um, with areas in studio performance and composition. So um, I'll just open it up for any questions. This is also for um, folks that might be joining us um, online, uh, streaming with us. 
um, that have been following along with the discussion. So if there are any questions at all that I can field from, uh, from the room. Is there any questions at all I might be able to answer for you? That's a great question. So uh, for, if you didn't hear that, um, the question was, is, have we ever had students that have come through um, on any of our programs with, uh, uh, from a First Nations background in, in dance? Is that, is that the right question that uh, I understood that correctly? We actually haven't had any of our students come through our graduate programs with that particular focus. Um, we have had some that have done um, some um, really interesting things in movement and in performance in, uh, uh, in uh, the theater and dramatic arts program, but it's really been um, just an element of the study. Um, but I certainly don't think that that would be um, outside the realm of possibility. I think that those, uh, whatever your area of interest is that you want to study um, in art, in theater and dramatic arts, uh, in new media, um, right? As long as you're able to contextualize that in a in a letter of intent and in your application, that the admissions committee would look at what you want to explore. Yeah, absolutely, because there's. Um, there's obviously uh, areas of performance art in the Master of Fine Arts and Art, right? And of course, there's lots of um, potential within the Theatre and Dramatic Arts program as well where that may be appropriate. Yeah. Thank you for that question. Any other questions at all? Okay, well, um, our, we have some brochures that are available um, that outline uh, the different areas and, and, and sort of um, reiterate some of the material that I've covered here today. Um, and of course, you can always get in touch with, uh, um, with the University of Lethbridge um, to follow up on other questions that you might have. Um, send an email to sgsinquiries um, at uleth.ca. Uh, and of course, please check out the Future Student website um, for graduate studies um, here at the University of Lethbridge. I hope you enjoy the remainder of the open house today um, and uh, hope to see you on campus. Um, thanks for joining us. Bye.